friends in need have found a good friend indeed. Lily! Come on, Lily! Mary Beth Arts is here to protect these geese and ducks that eagerly await her call. I'm part of a group, a community group, that we formed called Wild for Prospect Park, and we keep watch over the wildlife here at Prospect Park. We're kind of the gatekeepers of the lakeside. Mary Beth, a wildlife conservation educator and part of our DeSales family, dedicates much of her time fighting an ongoing problem, especially this time of the year. They cannot survive in the wild. People that, we, we found out that what's happening is people buy ducklings at Easter. And in the five boroughs, it's illegal to keep them. So what they do is, okay, well, let's let them go into the lakes or ponds, figuring that they'd be fine and they'll have a good life. Mary, who calls St. Francis her favorite saint, says faith drives her mission. It's our obligation to take care of what we've been given. And Pope Francis says that. Even the wild geese and ducks that are naturally equipped to survive in the wild encounter life-threatening perils. Right there, he's got a lure. We watched in awe as she sprung in to action to save one of God's creatures, thanking God every step of the way. Come on, God. St. Francis, come on, you can help us here. Just so we can understand the seriousness of what Mary Beth does out here, this was wrapped around a goose's leg so tightly it was about to cut off its circulation. And if that happened, it could have lost its leg and its life. In the spirit of protecting our environment and all God's living creatures, Mary Beth has some pretty sound advice. If you really want to get something, we say buy a stuffed toy animal, buy a chocolate animal, or even better, um, donate to a farm animal sanctuary that takes care of a lot of these animals that are dumped and abandoned, or visit one. 